Hey, David Breslow back here with you and today's mental golf training tip I want to talk to you about setting a subtle goal that will be a little different than what most people tell me they do. You know, most golfers I speak to will tell me, uh, you know, my goal is to shoot lower scores or to play as, as best around as I can or beat my playing partner that I play with every Saturday morning or Sunday morning, whatever it might be. There's all sorts of performance goals. There's all sorts of mechanical goals. There's all sorts of scoring goals that golfers will talk about. But here's something I'd like you to consider. There's one thing some really, really great professional athletes do better than other people. We know that they're in a very competitive business. Many people are competitive. You may be a very competitive golfer, even as an amateur, if that's what you are. And that's fine. But here's something I invite you to consider, even in your competitiveness against other golfers. Your goal is not to beat somebody else. Your goal is not to beat the course or another golfer. Here's what your real goal needs to be, if you think about this and, and consider its possibility. The real goal is to be better than you were yesterday or last time you played. Consider what that means. If I'm playing golf and you're one of my playing partners and you tend to beat me by anywhere from, I don't know, two to four strokes almost every time we play, and my focus is on you, or my focus is on the golf course, I'm going to take this golf course down this time. This golf course knocks me down every time I play it. If your goal is to beat the course or to beat another golfer, that puts you in a really strange position. It's not a very powerful position. It's not a position you have control over. But you do have 100% control over improving yourself. So your goal, think about this, can really be to be better than you were last time you played. What does that mean? Well, that's different for every golfer. What does that mean to you to be better next round of golf you play than you were in the last round of golf you play? Does that mean taking care of business on the green? Does that mean making better choices when you're short of the green? Making better choices of where you tee off? And what part of the, of the tee box you tee from? Uh, does it mean making better choices on second shots or approach shots on club selection? So on and so forth. It could mean any number of different things. But if your goal truly is to be better than you were last time out, that changes the game completely, changes your perspective completely. It's no longer about the golf course. It's no longer about the other guy or the other girl. Because you don't have control over the golf course. You don't have control over the other guy or the other girl. You don't. There's only one thing you have control over every time you step on the golf course, every time you put a golf club in your hand, and that one thing is you. It's the only thing you have control over. So if your aim and your goal next time out is to be better than you were last time, watch what happens. You may find just a little bit in your game. And, and take small bites. Take small bites. Don't eat the whole elephant at the, sa at the same time. Take small bites. Pick a small area. Be better than you were last time. And if you do that time after time after time, you are going to grow in your game. Your game is going to get stronger on many different levels. It's unbelievable what happens to golfers. If you're willing to take the time, and it's not a long time, if you're willing to be patient and be better than you were before, and be better than you were by looking at the areas that you want to be better in. And that's your only goal. Your goal is not to beat me. Your goal is not to beat the course. Your goal is to be better. It's not even to beat you. Actually, don't think of it that way. It's to be better than you were last time. That's it. Takes all the pressure off. I even feel the pressure coming off my shoulders when I say it. it that's, that's how powerful it really is. So give that a shot. Focus on being better than you were last time. Take a look at your game and see what areas, areas or area, that you can do that in next time you uh, go play around to golf. Dave Breslow, good to be back with you. Talk to you soon. Leave a message here in cyberspace. Of course, you're always welcome to visit www.mentalgolfcoaching.com. Love to see you over there. Take care.